So this video is another video dealing with calculations in the community setting. And this video is actually done by request, um, and it deals with calculations involving insulin. Now insulin, it can be, well, it really is a big deal. And there's a lot of things involved with insulin as far as the different types of insulin, you know, whether you have your rapid acting, your short acting, your intermediates, your long actings. Um, do they come in vials? Do they come in pens? Can you mix insulins? Um, uh, dealing with NPH or a, with uh, rapid acting or regular insulins and which you draw up first and that's all really outside the scope of this video since this is concerned mainly with calculations. But there are a few uh, topics that I do want to go over uh, that's uh, directly involved uh, with calculations. And the first deals with units versus mLs. So, you know, vials and pens, you know, the total liquid volume that the insulin is in is measured in mLs, but we also uh, measure insulin as far as how much is going to be injected and what dose to use um, in units. And different medications. Um, you know, biologics such as insulin or heparin or um, low molecular weight heparin like noxaparin, lovenox, um, are dosed in units. Um, some of our um, fat soluble vitamins, vitamin E, vitamin A, uh, vitamin D, are measured in units. And they're measured in what we call units of activity. And units of activity are you know, they're different for each drug depending on what you're talking about. You know, with insulin, we're concerned about, you know, units of activity as far as units that will generate a biological response. In this case, number of units of insulin that will lower blood sugar. Um, different drugs are measured, you know, in, in units instead of mLs. Um, for that reason, and for the fact that, you know, between batches, you know, the actual amount of insulin between vials might vary, um, but, you know, you, you'll get the same response, the same biological response with the same volume of insulin from vial to vial, um, even though the actual, you know, protein uh, in the vials might be slightly different because they are biological compounds. And the same holds true uh, with heparin. Um, so, you know, it, it can be confusing for patients whether we dose in units or whether we dose in mLs, but um, dosing in uh, units is more convenient for the patient and keeping the patient familiar with units and not going back and forth between units and ml saves on confusion and it's also a safety matter and especially true when we look at U100 versus U500 insulin um, and I have here exactly what those mean. U100 insulin is 100 units per ml and U500 insulin is much more concentrated it's 500 units per ml and you know one example where you'll see U500 is in our humulin R so our regular insulin um, comes in the U100 and the U500 vial. Um, the U100 vial is a 10 ml vial and our U500 vial is a 20 ml vial. So there's a drastic difference in the total uh, amount of insulin uh, in these vials. And so the first you know, calculation that I'm going to you know, walk you through is calculating um, or converting back and forth between units and mLs. And for the first example, um, I want to calculate the total uh, number of units in a 10 ml vial of U100 insulin. And these are by far your more common vials that you'll see. You know, there's U100 insulin of Lantus, of Humalog, of Novolog, of MPH. And they're all um, U100 vials and they're 10 ml vials. So let's um, go ahead and do that calculation. We'll do it up here in the space at the top. So what I want to know is uh, how many units of insulin are in a 10 ml vial of U100. So we know that 
you know, a vial of U100 has 100 units per ml, and it's a 10 ml vial. So we'll start with the fact that there's 10 mLs in a U100 vial. And then we'll use some dimensional analysis. I want to convert to units. So we'll use a conversion factor here. And to get rid of mLs, we'll go ahead and put mLs on the bottom. So we know that per 1 mL, we know that there's 100 units. And just a heads up here, I'm going to use U for units, but realize that in an institutional setting, in a hospital setting, or a long-term care facility, or anything that's regulated by the Joint Commission, as you know, unit, uh, abbreviated as U or IU for international units, um, is one of those uh, do not abbreviate or abbreviations not to use for safety reasons. So they say to spell units out, but you know, to save space, I'm just going to use U. So, uh, we multiply here, so 10 mLs times 100 units per mL. Our mLs will cancel, and we're left with 1,000 units. So a 10 mL vial of 100 U insulin, of, I'm sorry, U100 insulin, is uh, 1,000 units total. Now let's compare that to a vial of U500 insulin. Now a U500 vial, remember, has 20 mLs of insulin. So we'll start out with our 20 mLs, and again we'll use dimensional analysis. So remember, in this case, for every one milliliter, there's now 500 units of insulin and we multiply that out, we get 10,000 units. So one vial of U500 insulin of humulin R has 10,000 units versus 1,000 units in a 10 ml vial of U100 insulin. And so getting these vials mixed up is really is a big deal. Not only um, is the U500 vial more concentrated, but there's actually uh, more volume involved. Because so if a patient continues to use you know, more and more volume of a more concentrated insulin, they have a much higher likelihood of having a hypoglycemic episode, and that definitely would not be a good thing. All right, so another calculation, especially uh, important to uh, community setting nowadays, is calculating the correct day supply, and that can be tricky sometimes with insulin, um, and it can really be tricky with insulin. I've seen um, with insulin pens. And so the example that I'm going to use right now deals with uh, Lantus. So if we look at a Lantus Solastar pen, these pens are 3 mLs each, okay? And, it, and they're 3 mLs of the U100 insulin. Okay, and you get five pens in a box. Okay, so you know the, the calculation that you know we can go ahead and do now is figure out well, what's the total amount of insulin in a box of Lantus Solastar. So we know, let's start out with what we know. We know that there's five pens. And we're now going to come up with our own conversion factor, converting from pens to mLs. So we know that one pen, okay, we'll put pens on the bottom, has three mLs. Okay, and now we need to convert from milliliters to units. So remember, our U100 insulin has 100 units per mL. Okay, so we have uh, 1 mL as 100 units, and so we'll multiply through. So our pens will cancel. Okay, we have pens on top, pens on the bottom, and our mLs will also cancel. Okay, mLs on the bottom, mLs on the top, and so what we're left with is units. So we'll take 5 times 3 times uh, 100, and so what we get is 1,500 units. Okay. 
So one box of um, Lance's Solar Star has 1,500 units total. Now let's say you get a prescription, and in this prescription, um, a patient is instructed to inject uh, 80 units uh, once daily. What day supply do you bill for? All right, so you know the first thing that you would calculate or that you need to do to figure this out is well, how many units are in Atlanta Solar Star box? And we've already calculated that there's 1,500 units. And if a patient's going to um, inject 80 units per day, you know it's a simple division problem. There's uh, 1,500 units total. Okay. And you know, if you want to do this using dimensional analysis, you know we can do it that way too. We know that there's 1,500 units total, and we want to convert from units to days. So we know the patient is using 80 units in one day. Okay, and so we'll actually take 1,500 and we'll divide by 80. And when you do this division. You come out with 18.75 days. Now, you can't bill for, you know, three quarters of a day. And so we'll just round this up to 19 days. So, you know, if a patient's ha uh, injecting 80 units of insulin uh, per day, and they're using Lanta Solastar, uh, it'll last them 19 days and so you would bill for a 19 day supply um, and you would go through similar um, calculations you know if you were using vials uh, remember that if you're giving a patient you know one vial of Lantus you know one vial of Lantus it's a 10 ml vial of U100 so there's a thousand units and so your calculation instead if you're using um, if you were using a vial would be to use um, a thousand units divided by 80 instead of 1500 and when you do that calculation uh, a thousand units divided by 80 uh, you wind up with 12 and a half days so you can bill for a 13 day supply in that case um, again if you have um, any questions uh, about uh, calculations with insulin or if you just have any um, any generic uh, questions uh, dealing with um, dealing with insulin uh, feel free to email me and I will write uh, my email address I'll write my email address um, I have to put it on the uh, on the uh, description part of the video because I seem to have lost my marker now. Um, so uh, that's uh, the calculations that we do with insulin. Uh, have a great day.